Okay, hi everyone. Um, today we're going to be looking at some brand new BBs that have just been released onto the market here uh, about just less than two weeks ago actually. Um, they are distributed by a guy who is a member on the arniesairsoft.co.uk forum, which is a place I frequent quite a lot. Um, he's just started up a small business selling these things. Uh, they're known as they're called bio balls. Um, basically, they're a biodegradable BB, as you might imagine by the title. Um, they come in bottles of 3,000, they come in 0.2 grams or 0.25 grams. Uh, we'll put a annotation to the website where they're sold, put that just here. Um, and we'll put another annotation for the forums, uh, where you can find the guy, his name's Darklight, that's his uh, forum name on there. Not arc light as of Red Bull, with a D on the beginning, different one. Um, like I say, they come in 3,000, two different weights, they're biodegradable, um, and they've got some quite interesting claims by the guy who does distribute them. Uh, apparently, they are machined to very high spec and tolerances in terms of their size and their weight, and they should, which is what we're going to be finding out today, they should be running pretty much vertically through any gun that you can feed them into feed them into it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna like say we've got three thousand of the point two grams here. And I've got myself some of the point two five grams down as well. And what we're gonna be doing is running them through four different guns just to give them a test and see how they work and see if the uh, claims of the distributors and the manufacturers where the uh, end product lives up to them. So start off as a, using a basic AEG, um, using the King Arms FN Foul Tactical Carbine, just a normal type AEG version 3 gearbox, Foul 90 round mid cap magazines. We run it on a uh, 8.4 volt battery. Like I say, nothing fancy with the mechanism, so that'll just be a, a basic test. Then we're doing one of my TM SOCOM, so the electric blowback system, a little bit different. Uh, the, so it's the new gen version 2 gearbox, the 82 round mid cap magazines. Again, running on an 8.4 volt battery. Then we're doing the TM Night Warrior, which has been just recently upgraded with a 6.01 type bore, and obviously you've got the GBB mechanism to contend with there. Oh, I forgot to mention actually on the SOCOM I just yesterday fitted a 6.03 type bore in the Mad Bull Black Python. So that will be a good test for that running through there. And lastly, one of my GMP WOC rifles with the gas blowback M4s. Alright, so well, uh, like I say we'll be starting a test with the King Arms. Let's have a look how they do. Okay, the first part of the test, we've got King Arms Foul Tactical Carbine. So it's a standard AEG, version 3 gearbox, shooting about 320 FPS. It's got the barrels about 350 millimeter, roughly. It's just standard 6.08, so it's not tight or anything. It's just pretty standard AEG, not gas powered, no electric blowback, nothing like that. We've got a 90 round foul mid cap magazine. I've loaded it half with about sort of 40 odd, 45, 0.25 grams at the bottom and then I've got another 40, 45 with a 0.2 grams on top so we'll be firing both weights down here we'll see how they do. Move as you like, really. Make a plate there. Okay, uh, part two of the test then. As I mentioned, we've got the Tokyo Marui SOCOM, so that's the Gen 2 gearbox, Gen 2 of the version 2 electric blowback system. 
and as I mentioned before, just upgraded it yesterday with a Mad Bull 6.03 mil type bore in there, 363 millimeter. So that will be a good test for it, and also put in a Mad Bull shark bucking as well, or a Naboon standard TM hop bucking. Um, on the magazine side, got one mid cap that's got about 40 rounds of the 0.2 gram Bibles, and another mid cap that's got about 40 of the 0.25 grams. So we'll be running them at the target, a bit of semi modifier but full auto. Hopefully, this should work nicely. Starting off with the 0.2 grams. Semi-auto at first with a 025s. Full auto. We've had any problems there? Good stuff. Okay, next part of the test, we're moving on to some gas powered weapons. Tokyo Marui 1911, Night Warrior in this case, we're using some propane. We've got one magazine of the point twos, with about 12 rounds or so in it. It is quite cold out. And another magazine of about the same number again of the 0.25 grams. The gun itself will be shooting around 320-ish, although it's a bit cold, so that's just a guess, but we'll see. Um, and I recently put in a PDI Raven 6.01 type bore, so if they're not up to scratch in terms of the diameter spec that the distributor is saying, then that will certainly highlight it being an extremely tight barrel, so let's see. First up, 0.2 grams. Oh yes, it's a cold day or Very, very cold. That one went a bit better. No BB related issues there. Not, I don't think. So, to pass on that one. Okay then, uh, fourth, final, last part of the test. GMP WAC, so it's a gas blowback rifle. The actual inner barrel is about 370mm, but it's a standard diameter, 6.08. However, it's got bolt going back and forward, getting fed out of the magazine by the uh, steel bolt aluminium nozzle, aluminium nozzle tip into the hop chamber there. So, let me under the BBs themselves going to be under some forces, some stresses, so let's see how they cope with those. Again, got a magazine of the .2s and a magazine of the .25s, about 20 rounds of each because, again, very chilly day out here, I'm not going to get too much gas efficiency out of the propane in these magazines. Like I say, first up, .2 grams. to the 0.25 if 
far and away there. No troubles, no BB jams, which is an, uh, quite often a problem in these WA system rifles. No, no issues there. Looks like the consistency is good. The jams have a barrel hop unit. Nothing getting stuck in there. All fine. So, all feed in firing, no problems. Looking good on that one. In terms of the performance and firing down the guns, all four tests, they've all been good. Um, so yeah, well, that's happy with that on that side of things. Cheers for watching, guys.